What are they? Where do they come from? What do they do? Who is? Select your character. Yes! Wario is a treasure hunter, adventurer, game development company owner, and former villain of the Mario universe. He made his first appearance in the Game Boy game Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins, where he took over Mario's palace while he was away in Sarasaland helping out Daisy. Mario quickly found that Wario had somehow convinced everyone in the vicinity that Mario was a bad guy, but in no time at all, Wario found himself on the receiving end of a beatdown and was forcefully ejected from the castle. Wario and Mario had been childhood friends, but as they grew older, and Mario showed his talents to the world, Wario grew jealous and set out to do everything he could to spite Mario. Not wanting to be outdone on the real estate front, Wario set out on a quest for a palace of his own. It was on this quest that Wario found that he had a knack for treasure hunting, as well as a general love for accumulating wealth of all kinds. While defeating the brown sugar pirates and wishing for a castle from a magical genie was nice, Wario had tasted the sweet nirvana that was the freedom of exploration. It was alluring to him, and he found himself focusing his efforts on heading out for the next big thing. That isn't to say that Wario didn't enjoy spending his earnings as well, as his unusual personality of being, well, a lot, compelled him to express himself in his purchases. He owns a personalized vehicle known as the Wario Car that he had modified to be able to hit speeds of around 280 miles per hour. A plane known as the Bulldog, as well as a hot rod motorcycle created specifically for him by his friend, Dr. Krieger. He also owns several homes and castles he was able to renovate by tapping into his vast resources. Wario is strong, being able to punch through blocks that even Mario has trouble getting through, as well as being able to effortlessly lift enemies and objects as though they were made of paper. His signature shoulder bash allows him to charge forward with enough force to break through walls. He also has the ability to contextually adapt to changing environments easily, handling the strain and taking advantage of transforming into things like zombies, bats, pancakes, springs, on fire, balls, and being overweight. He uses his incredible strength to overwhelm and bully others, though since being defeated by Mario, he's more or less retired being outwardly evil. He's more obnoxious now than anything, and generally only uses his abilities when there's some sort of reward on the line, like the title of superstar for the annual parties that Mario throws, or signs that an ancient treasure is up for grabs. Wario has been described as a pretty uncool dude that people can't help but like, and I second that notion, since his style is just so confident, yet bizarre. He's also disgusting. Not one for politically correct statements or common decencies, Wario charts his own course, leaving a smelly, fart-ridden hallway in his wake. He picks his nose, wipes up bird poop with his hat, leaves the toilet clogged, eats like the world is ending at every meal, is practically illiterate, refuses to perform any basic hygiene, and spends most of his free time either asleep or watching television or playing video games. After adventuring had taken its toll, Wario sought to lay his roots and accumulate a different fortune. One day, while lazing away the day watching television, a commercial for a video game came on, talking about the booming video game market. Seeing the possibility for huge profits in the field of video game sales, Wario started his own company, WarioWare Incorporated, out of his home in Diamond City. While the initial beginning of WarioWare was difficult, as Wario could not simply punch video games into existence, Wario called upon the friends he had made outside of the Mushroom Kingdom circle to help him out. Quite predictably, Wario was incredibly short-sighted and wanted to put in the least amount of effort for his product, and because of this, his games were only seconds long. Despite this, the fast-paced nature of playing many of these micro games back-to-back -back thrust WarioWare into financial success, and WarioWare Incorporated became a booming business. Although Wario tried to keep all the profits for himself, which didn't really turn out too well for him. It's at this point that I'd like to bring up Wario's relationship with Waluigi. Though Wario's roots were lain in Diamond City, Waluigi is nowhere to be found. From what I could gather, Waluigi is to Luigi what Wario is to Mario, an antithesis of the character they're apart from. Despite this, Waluigi and Wario are not brothers. Technically, they're not even related. Just imagine Waluigi as that weird cousin you happen to meet at a family reunion once every couple of years. Their relationship 
is rather sparse, as the only time Wario happens to cross Waluigi is at Mushroom Kingdom gatherings and the like. While that may seem a tad depressing or lackluster, it doesn't seem to bother Wario, as he's always got some crazy scheme cooked up that'll keep him busy for a long while. Wario is lazy. Wario is hilariously simplistic and short-sighted. Wario is gross and more than likely someone that'll end up eating all your food if you don't keep an eye on him. But Wario doesn't care, because Wario is Wario. He's an entrepreneur of the highest grade, with a passion for adventure and personal gain. He's incredibly wealthy and loves to enjoy the finer things in life, while staying close to his roots and never compromising who he is and who he's decided to be. He's got a wide range of friends, and his accomplishments and victories stand the test of time. He's defeated two demons, one of them nameless, the other known as Terror Misu. He's taken on the Black Sugar Gang three separate times, saved the entire Shake Dimension, rescued a princess named Princess Sakura from an ancient monster known as the Golden Diva, and participated and survived every single Mario Party to date. Wario is awesome, but he doesn't care if you think he is or isn't. He'll just prove it to you and himself time and time again, and then he'll probably fart on you. This has been Who Is. If you enjoyed the video, consider supporting the Sass Jacket on Patreon. Otherwise, leave a like and a comment below as to what character you'd like covered in a future episode. You can also comment on the format of these videos since this is the first one and I'd really appreciate some feedback. Subscribe to the channel and follow me on my Twitter to stay up to date on the latest goings on at the Sass Jacket, as well as the Discord. All links will be in the description below. With that being said, you guys have a swell day and I will see you next time. See you guys.